What's up guys? I just got back from Norway and sitting in the shop is this beautiful 2016 GT3 RS. Now on today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that detailers do on a regular basis. We inspect the paint when the car comes into the shop. And I thought to myself, this is going to be very useful to you guys at home for any car in between $30,000 or $300,000. Uh, I'm going to show you this technique that we use. It's very simple um, for when you unwrap the car. Of course, this assumes that you still have the wrapping on. We're going to shoot a totally separate video on how to sort of convince the dealership to uh, allow you to keep this stuff on and inspect it yourself. We'll, we'll talk about uh, all these little techniques and the angle with which you're gonna use the light. It's kind of cool. That and more coming up on this episode of Drive and Protect. In so that they sit on top of each other. Oh. Touch up paint on. I can hear it. Okay, today's lesson is really about when you're removing all the plastics here, um, uh, how to look at the car. And I'm a little bit out of a loss for words here because this is an actual job and I'm thinking, um, and I stopped in the middle of this. As you can see, it's not all the way off. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the camera in. This is real time, that's why I stopped. We're gonna look at the rear bumper. Now this is exactly what you guys uh, need to do at home. And so I've propped up a light here. That's a scan grip light. Okay, not everyone's gonna have one of these uh, lights on wheels, I get it, but they have, we have uh, the Rupes pen light, the scan grip, um, some of these, this is a little bit more on the expensive side, but these are under a hundred bucks or whatever they are, 50, 60, 80, 100, and they're, they're nice little lights, and I'm gonna show you how to use it, but I actually stopped in the middle of this video just so I can, on camera, pull this in and show you exactly, exactly what I'm talking about, which makes me insane and why the customers drop the car off like this, so, Okay, let's pull this in and I'll show you. And that's the reason why I put this light on. I was actually killing two birds with one stone. As I normally do it, I pull the wrapper off, but I put the light on the side so I can actually look at it. Kind of cuts time down in terms of a detailing perspective. Um, but let me pull it in right now and show you what's going on. Real time, ready? Do you see that right there? That is a brand new car. That is the wrapper. So I'm gonna play with the exposure a little bit. I can't imagine you not being able to see that. So I'm gonna move the light. If you look right now, it's a little shaky, but if you look right now, there's the light. I should really drop it down, but my hands are full. If I drop it down to right around here, right? And I stay at this angle. I don't know what that is, you know, 100 degrees or something. Watch as I turn this angle in, right? Bang. So the light isn't directly behind my eyes, and I'll tell you why, but sometimes we do, we do use that. But as you can see, this is very normal, but you know, frustrating and makes me a bit angry. This is what is a high spot right here. What the hell is this? So this spot right here took a lot of abuse from the cloth, from the, uh, the, uh, the cover. See that right there? Bang, that's the high spot. And so now I have to buff that out. So if you, if you allowed them to take it off themselves, that would have been polished. And you probably wouldn't have seen this, but I wouldn't have known that that existed. I wouldn't know like the history of the car. That's so important to me. So I stopped halfway. You know, this wasn't my plan because um, I didn't know it was. There. Oh, geez. Look at this too. Look at that. Can you see that hologram right there? Look at that. I mean, I'm going to boost the uh, exposure up. Uh, I'm starting to sweat now. <laughs> This made a lot more work for me, but this is why the cars are brought in before you never would have seen that normally. And so now you know the history from beginning to end. Okay, so let me show you the light. Okay, let me talk a little bit about light angle. Um, we went off on a tangent there because this just ex exploded my mind a little bit. And the crazy part is I've done this a thousand times and I've seen it a thousand times and it still makes me insane. Um, but let's talk about angles. Um, so you see the light back here? I'm gonna move the light on camera watch. All right, so the goal now is to be able to look at the light from this angle. I'll take the camera, it's hard to do both at the same time. I'll take the camera and put it right where my eye is, and you're gonna be able to see everything flawlessly um, with respect to uh, deep gouges and dents, which you normally wouldn't see. Now the ideal goal would be to shut off all the lights here, but it's a functioning shop, and you may be at the dealership doing this yourself. Now you're not gonna probably have a really nice light like that in the shop. I get it. But like I said, these little 
um, lights just carry with you. So here's the trick. So if this light is off, so I'm gonna go turn that off right now and I'll show you how to mimic that with your arm. It's basically just putting your arm out. And what I'll do is I'll put the camera behind my eye and you'll be able to see what I see. And it, it just um, sort of undresses everything, kind of takes away all the makeup and all the BS involved when you know, dealers find the things that I'm finding that you are now gonna find and they address them, basically, again, hide them. So I'm sort of inspiring you and, and, and motivating you to go do this yourself before you buy the car so you can have the entire history. Remember, you don't know what happened before the car and I can't predict what happened at the, at, the, uh, at the manufacturing plant. Okay, fine, there's a little bit of leeway there, but I wanna know before it even gets unwrapped and this is the gold. So when you walk in, pretend that there's no light. So let's move this. So now, now there's no light, right? So you're gonna take your light at an angle. You're gonna hold it back. Can you see my arm right here, right? You're gonna hold it back, turn it on, and you're gonna hold your hand and your face this way as if you're mimicking that same angle as before. Now, if you have a stand, that'll help a whole lot. But if you walk around the car with it, I just found another little swirl. If you walk around the car like this, you'll be able to see. Now, the angle of the light is important, like I said, you're gonna look at that 120, 130 degrees, whatever it may be. Now, if you're looking for paint, the coloration of paint, it is pretty good to look at it from behind your eye or somewhere near there. If you're looking at swirls, you want an angle. Angle for swirls, and when you're looking for paint uh, coloration, meaning you want it to be the same color from panel to panel, I find looking at it directly you know, from your eye. So color, scratches, color, scratches. That's kind of how the way that I work that. Now, if you don't have, um, super long arms like I do or uh, want to do something else, you can actually take this and just tape it to a chair, put it back over there on the light, and then do the angle. Mind you, you may be at a dealership doing this, um, so you're going to look like a wacko, but when you find the things that I just found, you can go back into the dealer and say, hey, I found this, 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 and this. How are we going to address that? Or can I get a discount? Or I don't know what it is, but um, you, know, you decide what you want to do with that. But this is like crucial, critical, hence why a lot of people just flatbed the car here. This was not even driven. I'm actually gonna take it back to my other garage because it's getting to spring now and you can see there's race cars everywhere and we gotta get this out of here. So I'm gonna take it back to my house for a while and redo it, polish it. I gotta fix it now, but do you see how important it is to actually do this yourself? Find a pen, shoot it at an angle. Remember, behind your eyes, you can see the coloration from panel to panel. An angle, you can see scratches. Do that and it'll save you a fortune at the dealership. Use that technique and uh, you'll be better for it and you'll know the history of your car. Thanks for watching. Shoot me an email, larry at ammonyc.com and I'll see you next time. Bye.